Hello everyone. In this video, you'll learn how to collect customer data before initiating a chat. There are several methods to achieve this. If you're using a live chat widget, the easiest way is to set up a pre-chat form. Here's my demo website. As you can see, the live chat widget is already installed and currently displays a plain live chat. Let's add a pre-chat form to this widget. First, we'll create a new form. Navigate to the Settings slash Forms section and click the Add New Form button. To collect the customer's name and email, the form should include name and email fields. Let's add these fields. Next, we need to add a submit button. Our form is now ready. Next, we'll set our form as the pre-chat form for the live chat widget. Go to settings, live chat settings. Here, you can set a pre-chat message and select the pre-chat form. Now let's test it. As you can see, the customer's name and email address appear in the chat dashboard. You can also find this data in the contacts table. Let's create the same functionality using a chat flow. First, create a new chat flow, starting with an event trigger. Next, add two variables to store the customer's name and email. Now, add two actions the first to ask for the customer's name, and the second for the email address. After that, include an invite agent action. Let's test the chat flow. Everything seems good, but we missed setting up email validation, so the customer can enter any value as an email. Let's fix this by adding an email validator. Additionally, we need to store the data at the customer level. Now attach the chat flow to the widget and see how it works on a live website. Once the page reloads, a pre-chat message will appear. Click on it. You will be prompted to enter a name. Next, you'll need to enter an email address. If you enter an invalid email, it will be rejected by the email validator. Enter a valid email address. You can now see the customer's data in the chat dashboard and the contacts table. That's how you can utilize these two techniques to request customer data and store it in the dashboard. That wraps up this video. See you in the next one. And thank you for watching.